everyone, one more time! And today I found two freeware plugins, one of those is this, the Crank Krankenstein Amp Simulator, this one and the other one, the 5150 are freeware, you have the link in the description, but this video is about the Crank Krankenstein, so this is how it sounds. And well, I always use the TSE 808 before any amp distortion plugin because it cuts some of the low frequencies that make the distortion a bit too dirty and adds a little bit of gain in the distortion. And this Crank Krankenstein plugin has too much mids in my opinion, it has more mids than most of the other distortion plugins. This is how the TSE X30 sounds. And using this same impulse response but with the Crank Krankenstein it sounds like this. And as you see, this plugin has a lot more mids than other distortion plugins, especially the X30. Those mid frequencies are not always bad, because they add some kind of depth to the guitars, but they sometimes need to be cut. It's because this amp is modeled to mimic the sound of a real Crank Krankenstein amplifier. So with this plugin you get a very different sound, which is good, because the more guitar plugins you have, the more options you will have to make your guitar sound as you want. And well, this plugin also has a tone stack, which enables the EQ. I prefer to let it disable because I don't like too much this kind of EQ, it's quite basic and you don't have too much control, I prefer to use external EQs or the channel EQ, so it's all up to you, but my advice is use an external EQ. I'm going to try now the channel EQ. But well, the first idea you should have is to find an impulse response that sounds like you want. Now I'm going to try several. So as you see, what I would do is to find an impulse response that sounds more or less like I want, and then use some EQ if needed. So my opinion about this plugin is that it sounds very good, it has powerful mids and a great distortion. And now I'm going to show you how it sounds in a whole mix, so you see how it really sounds. I'm going to use it in a song of my project Axom, and of course remember this plugin is freeware, so you can download it and try it, if you don't want you just delete it, but please try it, because it's worth the 5 minutes you will need to test it. So well, be prepared to listen to it in a whole mix, and as usual I hope you enjoyed this video, and see ya! One more!